What is up, guys? My name is Ross, and if you're new here, I, like you, am just ooh, also enthused about Photoshop and what it can do. And today, I'm going to show you how we can swap faces quickly and effectively using Photoshop's built-in Auto Blend Layers tool slash panorama tool. So without further ado, let's get into Photoshop here. I have this lovely, lovely image that I found on unsplash.com, not a sponsor, of a man who's looking straight at us. And then over here, also from Unsplash, I have a lovely feminine female, feminine female, of a lady who also is looking straight at us. Now, obviously, it makes sense to have images that are pretty similar in their perspective and everything. That goes without saying. But we're going to hit Command-A, Command-C to copy this and Command-V to paste this into the documents that we are working in. Hit Command-T to bring up your free transform. And we're looking to pretty much align the old eyeballs there because as we know the eyes are the window into the soul so that's looking pretty good um, I'm gonna just kinda play with this slider opacity I'm gonna scale this up just a wee bit that is looking mm, that is tasty right there okay hit enter to accept that transform now zoom in and what we want to do is grab the lasso tool with L just draw a nice little happy face shape around her face. Yes, I just channeled my inner Bob Ross. Um, don't act like you're not impressed. Okay, so what I did there is I, I let's back up. I grabbed the lasso tool. I made a, a happy little face shape around this female face, and I applied a layer mask. Now our next step that we have to do is we have to match these colors a little bit better than what they're doing right now because uh uh this is no no bueno. They are not looking good. But before we do that, I'm just gonna apply this layer mask because hey. We've got the mask that we want. That's all we need. So what we're going to do is I'm going to command click this layer so that it loads the selection up. And what we want, why we want to do that is I'm going to match color. It's a tool in Photoshop, but we want to match the color that is just on this gent's face and not the whole background. So what we're going to do is with that layer selected and that active selection active, we're going to go into image, adjustment, match color. And here, this is a beautiful thing. What we're going to do is it allows us to uh, basically select a source. So first we have to select the document that we're working in, and we're in Untitled 1. And then it also lets us select the layer that we want to match to. And obviously we don't want Layer 2 because that's the layer that we're currently on. We want Lovely Layer 1. Ready Layer 1. Okay, and you can see that it instantly just it changes the color of this layer. But you notice it's doing some funky things to our eyes and all that. So I'm going to you can fade this adjustment with the Fade tool. I'm going to fade a little bit. I don't think I need to play with luminosity or luminance. That just kind of really jacks a little little bit up. So I'm going to leave it at that. If we hit neutralize, ugh, no, not good. She looks like a zombie. Or like she's, she actually looks like she's in the polar vortex, if you catch my drift. So we're not going to click that. We're going to play with the sliders until we get what we want or what looks good, and we're going to hit OK. So now that we have that done, it looks lovely, and there you go. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so we're going to make sure that that selection is still active. Actually, no, we're going to hit Command-D. We're going to deselect, because what we need to do is grab our background layer, hit Command-J to duplicate it. Now, we're duplicating this because we want to work non-destructively right now, and what we're going to do is we're going to punch a fi <laughs> we're gonna punch a hole in this dude's face. You hear me rightly? Just We're going to knock him out. So what we're going to do is now Command-click that top layer to load that selection, but we don't want to punch him in the face yet. No, what we want to do is we want to contract the selection because the panorama tool in Photoshop look, works funny in the way that it blends layers together. It wants some overlap. If you've ever made a panorama b before, you know that it wants the overlap. So what we're going to do is go into select, modify, contract. And all we're going to do is, I'm, you know, it depends on how big your image is, but I'm going to start with 8 and see what that does. If I zoom in here, you can see... It's punched this in about 8 pixels, allegedly. So I'm going to zoom back out. And with that now selected, I'm just going to hit the delete key, but make sure you're on that background copy. Hit delete, and as you can see over here, we no longer have a face on this gentleman. But that's okay, because we're going to give her, give him her, his, whoa, whoa, this is a tongue. We're going to give him her face. All right. So without further ado, make sure you select both layers by shift clicking, and then go into image. I lied. Go into Edit and go to Auto Blend Layers. Make sure Panorama is selected. Make sure Seamless Tones and Colors and Content Aware Fill Transparent Areas are also selected. And hit OK. And Photoshop's going to process this. And look at that lovely madness. A pretty, pretty seamless 
um, transition there. Now, if you're not happy with it, we can group these, shift clicking, command G, and make sure that background layer is now active as well. And we're gonna add a layer mask to this grouping of our nicely blended images. Now, why, why would we do that? Well, with the mask selected and black as our foreground color with the brush tool, we can now blend these even more if we want. So one thing I've noticed when we blended, when Photoshop blended these layers, it kind of knocked down our blacks a little bit, especially in his beard. We want this chick to have a nice beard, nice five o'clock shadow. So we're just gonna knock all this down, especially by his hair and stuff. And would you look at this, with a few minutes of diddle daddling around in Photoshop, Oh, it actually did a lot to the background. I'm going to actually delete the layer mask. I'm going to command click to apply this. So this is actually what it looks like before we did anything. And now with white, I'm going to paint in what I want. I want the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And you guys, look at that magical mm -mm tastiness. That's all. So let's, once again, this is the before and this is the after. Few minutes in Photoshop, auto blend layers, panorama tool, and you're set. How magical was that? Now, if you've liked what you've seen here, make sure you give me a like. Um, if you did not like it, let me know in the comments below also. And finally, if you wanna see something, let me know, cause I'm looking to put out some videos or at least more videos, cause I wanna help you guys. I'm enthusiastic about Photoshop and I think you guys should be too. I mean, obviously you are, if you're here. My name is Ross. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.